another update to the Lizard Rumbler van by DD Mod Passion on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on the Rock Crawl map for this. And uh, 20.58 megabytes of download. There is quite a substantial uh, change log, 2300. Um, however, before you update this, I would highly recommend that you sell your um your vans first before you update this mod the reason i say that is let's get our help window on first so this map i always have these rumbler vans um on my map uh for just because they're makes life so much easier testing things however they do have still have some issues now if we go into our own vehicles i did buy one of the new vans this one but i had three of these vans none of them showed up in my owned items as you can see here i got a front loader and a front loader tool and the new van i bought but um none of the rest of them so it does not exist according to my in-game owned items uh, fortunately for me um, I can sell it. So, uh, as I said, I highly recommend. Now, I don't know if this is going to mess up because I had these and I didn't sell them before. So, uh, sell. Yes. Okay. So, that's sold. Uh, and now I have uh, this new one. So, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out. I'm going to um, uncheck the Rumbler vans come back in save my map and then go back out engage the rumbler van again and come back in and then buy a new one because i don't know if having the old one still when i updated it and came on here whether that kind of messed up the new one or not so this is what i'm going to do but i did want to show you that before we go on to the update and testing because i did test it out it seems to react and act just like the old one so it makes me suspect because uh i will i'll let you know the the change log added more versions um a whole bunch of new versions added more versions with different height van yes low roof medium roof high roof. yeah we'll look at all that added bars to the top we'll look at that bug fixes and changes fixed configuration for manual loads so we're going to look at all that, but we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So, I don't actually think it changed anything. I uh, I went out. I deselected the Rumbler van, came back onto my map, saved the game, went back out, then, uh, then went back in selecting this, and then I bought some new ones. So let's have a look at them in the store uh, and then we'll kind of go through what i have found so we're going to find these under vehicles and cars and there is uh, a lot of them now i'm not sure if you guys are going to like how many new vans they all are identical except for the size and conf well so we have the short van the rumbler van s short wheel base lr so lr being just the normal size van then we go up to the mr which means it's a little higher and then the hr which is a tall van fine um and they all have identical uh, except for the base model eight thousand or eight i guess it's eight thousand ten thousand twelve thousand liter capacity or up to uh to do it one two th it's so many zeros a lot then uh medium wheelbase there's those three short medium and tall and then we have a long wheelbase and then we have extra long wheelbase so we have basically th three versions of each of them and that's a lot especially since they literally do nearly the same thing although the base model does uh it's twenty thousand liters so 
the base model is bigger in each one of these uh, so yeah the size if you're going with base if you're going with the unreal capacity they're all the same to be quite honest so it's a little bit odd i found it but let's go through let's go through the let's go to the largest one because yeah uh, and as you can see the price goes up so the pricing is different capacity and things seem to work the same 300 horsepower 120 liters of fuel 74 miles per hour 20,000 liters to I think counting the zeros one two three four five a million that's got to be 10 million because a million it's yeah count the zeros one two three four five it says a million but I think it's more than that but anyways we'll test that out ai worker yes or no i don't know if that actually does anything or not really i don't i haven't found anything that says it does or doesn't diesel or electric so you have the diesel or electric uh, these are all standard things none of these things have changed driver's side left beacon rear door glass names discharge so discharge this is important to know this one at least manual or automatic i will show what each one of those means that's when you're unloading capacity we have standard at twenty thousand. we have high at i think that means a million and this is 10 million i do believe at least that's what it used to mean fillable pallet so this is just how the product appears when it's in the in the truck um all these different things it will still pick up everything everything it'll just appear as either grapes or honey or lettuce or just whatever you want it to look like in there but fillable pallet or tanks that's just the visual what it visually looks like when you load it in the van it doesn't affect what you pick up folding mechanism automatic or manual that's just the doors opening and closing it doesn't it kind of does matter but tension belts this is something new new or then a yes or tension belts that's inside then if you go yes to extension that's the roof we have a roof rack with tension belts we can have and on this model we can have up to six roof racks the smaller or the shorter the van the less extensions that will be available and then colors main color design color is interior color and rim color of course is the color of the rims now there that is your basic um yes basic stuff now this is uh as you can see the medium one now uh, we do have nothing here has changed except uh, the tension belts as you can see tension belts go on top and on the bottom if that's what you've chosen that to be this one i have chosen to have the high capacity not the unreal super high but just the regular high capacity and you can fill it from a silo we're going to put in well we'll show everything you can put literally anything in here that you want from a silo um yeah anything you want anything that's available so let's just go ahead and put um wood chips in there as you can see uh it shows a fillable pallet and that's the uh the visual representation that is inside the vehicle and yeah, as you notice here we are already at uh, 91,000 liters. So this is going to be a million liter capacity, the medium. And that's a lot. <laughs> right. So I don't have to show that too much more. I, I will show you a few other things I did find. So L1 and X, this is where the automatic doors what that means l1 and x will automatically just open and close the doors for you also we have inside l1 and right stick left and right and up and down open and close that window so same thing with the right stick we'll do that and 
uh, it's hard to see but the window is opening and closing rolling up and down that is that is your oh and we have a rear view too actually front rear view for some reason right what else uh, nothing else has actually the everything seems to be the same here uh, the unload this one I do believe I have set to automatic so when he said when I told you uh, we'll look at it again just quickly discharge manual or automatic that is what I'm talking about right here see what happened when I drove over that cell point it automatically unloaded so if you have automatic unload on be careful of where you drive because it could just boink if you drive over a cell point it will empty it pretty darn fast pretty much right away so if you don't want that feature then turn it to manual and then you will get uh, get this which I will demonstrate here with this one let's put something other than let's put something in that comes in on a pallet shall we like bread so this is the base model and so even though I have bread in there remember I said I had pallets fillable pallets so that's kind of wow that represents oh inside the van but there's still bread now see you get a start overloading bread and there so that's you can stop it and start it that's the difference between automatic and manual unload now let's unload the bread and when I do that manually out here yes it appears as bread pallets now how do we reload them well we can back up and press L3 and we can automatically load that pallet from the from the ground again press L3 sometimes it automatically loads and sometimes it doesn't I haven't really haven't figured out <laughs> um, oh actually yeah it's 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 I will con there are a few other odd things I have found as well um, right so even if the doors are closed you can unload uh, let's unload this over here and there's uh, still more things I do want to show right so let's shut that off and let's go back over here now fillable uh, liftable pallets I do have the Yosa's liftable pallets uh, mod so that I have these liftable pallets let's get uh, pallets of cereal two pallets of cereal shall we and there they are so if we back up to those uh, let me show you I can lift these right liftable no problem um, liftable pallets tend to work very strangely notice I'm not getting a a, a trigger that says I'm able to load them but you can except that you have to pick them up and almost put them in the van before they uh, before it recognizes it's it's able to lift so there is definitely a conflict of some kind that makes it act much different now the other thing I did notice and that hasn't changed is when I unload them they are no longer liftable yes no longer I can no longer lift them if let's go here and show you why uh, now they're a thousand kilograms so I can't lift them anymore but now I can put them back in the van from the ground odd things yes those uh, and and it's odd it is odd that um, it says it's fixed some bugs but I really don't see where or what has been actually fixed it's really working exactly the same as it did before so there is one more thing and that is um, apparently something 
unique to this and I have showed this uh, previously on a previous video but I do want to show this again is with this rumbler van when you have loaded um, pallets and then drop them I wonder if this works because this used to work you used to be able to pick them up with a front loader without any and you still can so look at that it has automatic pallet forks so when you load pallets onto these rumbler vans and you discharge them out onto the ground they're no longer liftable but however they are um, they do that with any front loader uh, apparently now let's see here let's get a wheel loader and a, a telehandler and a skid steer and apparently these others also will do that let's see which ones actually do it we have one of each here so we have a front loader <clears throat> we have a skid steer I guess I should just go ahead and take it over there so skid steer does it yes look at that skid steer does it um, <laughs> it is kind of a really neat feature actually I cannot lie that is really cool but it is the same um, it, it, it is the same that um, I, I don't know what's actually changed so let's get the telehandler telehandler oh come on yes so same thing with the telehandler pretty uh, and it nowhere in the description does it say it does that which is really weird uh, what about wheel loader oh yes and the wheel loader too so literally anything that has a front loader type attachment will connect to these pallets after you have loaded it on to the loaded it on and then unloaded it so um, right I think that's covered all the changes and everything that hasn't changed so it's up to you whether you want to use it just be aware that if you have the rumbler van installed um, it will conflict with some other mods in one way or another this is just one of the uh, the liftable mods is one of the ways that um, that it kind of gets a little bit weird but um, yeah hopefully I've covered all the all the different um, yeah the different aspects of what I remember what I've learnt over the last and I, I hopefully I didn't if I've missed something feel free to mention it in the comments uh, that's really where a lot of information happens after the fact uh, and I thank all my viewers and those who comment on my videos either with corrections suggestions questions whatever you like I will do my best to answer them or whatsoever but there you go that's the update to the uh, lizard rumbler van by DD Mod passion on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now